Hello friends, in this video we will learn about the block code and warning codes. First see what is uh, block codes and where it is defined here. So there are 27 user block code defined A to Z and space. What are it? Every block code have some priority. Some block code are manually assigned, some are automatic assigned. Letters by block code, relationship and embossing record block codes. Basically, block codes are user defined code that indicate special condition on accounts and control specific processing option at the account level. So as I said, total there are 27 block codes, A to Z and using the block code matrix on logo record ARML screen 0708. So priority is assigned for each block code. If you see go to the account level screen there are two block code block code 1 and 2 on the page 01. So block code of higher priority can replace an existing block code means if a block there are two block codes so one is uh, lower priority and second is higher priority so it's always rule the higher priority block code replace the lower priority block code at the account level screen. So highest priority is 99 and you can assign the same priority to more than one block code it's possible. So let's see the ARM block code matrix on ARML 0708. What is the meaning of each block code? How priority? What are respective values? So this is the block code matrix defined. Here we can see for a given or logo combination on the page 07 we have block code defined from A to M. What is the description of each block code that is given in the description fields? As well as this is the priority screen. I have now for our reference it is 0, 0, 0. But if you go to the actual ARML screen in the system, there's some priority like 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Here are N to Z here. See like T counterfeit. So here it is blank, but if you go to the any CMS online screen, there will be some description given here. Like is A for agency, B for bankruptcy, C here credit lost in some system it is closed, F for fraud here, here T for counterfeit somewhere it is transfer. So this description vary from one business setup to another business setup. So and here is the BR, PO, RI, we will see the meaning of each here. Let's see. Here as a priority, I said priority level established to control the assignment of block code. The values are 0, 0 is the lowest priority by default and 99 is the highest priority here. And after that BR, BR stands for the block code report. A code that determines whether account assigned this block code appear on the blocked account report 007 or not. The value are N, do not report account, Y reports account. Like that every value has some function and, and its value. We will not well cover, cover the value in detail. Uh, if you want to see the value for all those things, better go to CMS manual. There you can see. After PO, it's a PO indicate code that determines how CMS post transaction to the account assigned this block code. RI, RI stands for the code that determines how CMS handle card ratio for account assigned this block code. AU, it code that indicate how CMS handle authorization for account assigned this block code. FC, code that indicate how CMS calculate the finance charge for account assigned this block code. After SC that is WL, W means wave late, late charge. Here, WM means wave membership fee, WO means wave over limit fee, WN means wave NSF fee. Here, it code that determine whether CMS wave the late charge for the account assigned this block code. After that, next is the code that indicate whether CMS wave membership fee for the account assigned this block code. WO, this code that indicate whether CMS wave over limit for the account assigned this block code. WN it code that indicate whether CMS wave and SF fee charges for the account assigned this block code. ST it code that indicate how CMS affect statement processing for account assigned this block code. DF 
code that indicate how CMS affect revolving payment conditions for account assign this block code. CI code that indicate whether CMS cancel insurance for account assign this block code. CB code that indicate whether CMS affect credit bureau reporting for the account assign this block code. BS code indicates the status reported to the credit bureau for any account assign this block code. Here credit bureau means suppose we go to uh, we uh, when we apply the card so for a, 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 while applying the card we submit document like our Aadhaar card, PAN card, address, name, address proof and so based on the, that, that document in any bank in India go to the NCB that is National Credit Bureau Agency. So that agency check all your his, financial history whether you are eligible for card. If that agency give the green signal then only the bank will process your credit card application request. In another country may be different name but their functionality is almost same. So apart from this there are some automatic block code assignment. The following field BC, RD, CD, RS and NB control whether CMS can automatically assign the block code to account or automatically change a block code on an account to a different block code. Here BC code that indicate condition under which CMS automatically assign block code to the account block code block code 1 and block code 2 on ARMB 0. RD code that determine the degree of recency delinquency at which CMS automatically assign this block code to an account. CD code that indicate the degree of con contractual delinquency at which CMS automatically assign this block code to an account. I, I, th I have clearly I have explained the meaning of a recency delinquency CD delinquency in my another video delinquency. You can go there. You can watch this that video and understand what is CD and RD. After the RS, number of days this block code remain in the effect before CMS automatically migrate the account to the next block code. NB, block code to which CMS automatically migrates the account. LT, code that indicate the whether CMS suppress the letter for account assigned this block code. Description, description of each block code. CMS print the block code description on reports. So here in this ARML page 0708, okay, no need to remember all the functionality, but you, some of the functionality you know for its detailed value. Refer the CMS uh, screen manual or user manual, it is there like okay, what are the respective value, what means uh, what are the value, what the meaning of those value, you can check over there. If we are going to cover those value, the video size will be very, very high, lengthy. Now here this is the letter matrix. Like letter matrix there also we have 27 block code A to Z and space here. So we will see what is the day 1 letter and letter 1. Day 1 to 4 it indicates number of days the account must have a block code before CMS initiates the corresponding letter. Letter 1 to 4 code that identify the letter to send when a block code has been assigned to an account the number of days in the corresponding day 1 to 4 field. Here the, that letter request go to the uh, LTS module. After that, that module trigger the letter request. Now after letter code, we have another warning code. What are the warning code? Warning codes are flag on account that are used by the authorization system. Warning code on the account based segment can affect how CMS authorized transaction for the account. So total there are 27 warning there, there are sorry, to, there are seven warning code on page 02 of the account based segment, some of which are updated only by CMS. CMS decides which warning code apply and updates them daily during batch processing here. Now, what is the means meaning of each block each warning code? Code 1 link to the block codes. Code 2 stands for the delinquency and charge off. Code 3 batch check activity. Code 4 and 5 user defined. Code 6 restricted use of account. Code 7 suspected fraud. So this is all about the block code matrix and warning codes. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel SNT Power Vision.